And sticking with cattle, if you had trouble controlling horn flies in your pastures last year, you may need to redesign your control program. Nebraska Extension educator Dave Boxler spoke with Market Journal's Maddie McIntosh on several different methods of horn fly control and how to figure out which one is best for your operation. Warmer temperatures means an insect called the horn fly is emerging from manure pats across Nebraska pastures. Thankfully, there are a number of control methods producers can use to keep the pest at bay. Certainly we have a number of methodologies that have been around for 50 plus years. That would be the dust bag. If you choose only to uh, provide this in a free choice setting, you're probably going to lose anywhere from 25 to 50% uh, in fly control. So forced use is the way to go on this treatment methodology. Uh, back rubbers and oilers have been uh, used for a long time and are still used by a lot of livestock producers. Animal sprays have been used uh, widely and some producers rely on animal sprays exclusively. It, it involves a lot of work and uh, possibly stress to cattle, especially under warm conditions. There is another um, spray uh, methodology called a mist blower sprayer, where you take the sprayer out to the cattle and spray the cattle right in the pasture. And here again, those uh, spray treatments are gonna have to be repeated at least every two weeks to, get to, to achieve maximum control. We also have Quorons, and they're really um, widely used with producers uh, when producers turn their cattle out to pastures. Now, they'll provide about three weeks of fly control, and then they'll have to be repeated also. We have a lot of producers in Nebraska using feed-throughs, and insect growth regulators work by disrupting the development of the fly, so the animals will feed on this uh, mineral, it'll go into the system, deposit it in the manure, and it kills the, the, the larvae that are developing in the manure. So we do have insecticide ear tags that have been with us for 35 plus years now, and um, many producers will rely on this fly treatment. And we encourage our Nebraska producers to delay the application of these ear tags until either the economic entry level is reached or uh, make the application in late May or early June. Um, that way you can assure pretty good uh, season long control. If you apply those ear tags too early and some producers will apply them even in, in late April, why you run the risk of, of losing or running out of the product when uh, the flies are really uh, increasing in population and that would be in late August or early September. The previous methods have been shown to work, but Dave says there's a newer practice that producers should consider as well. Compressed air application. And uh, compressed air propels a capsule with insecticide and it is uh, applied to the animal in that fashion. And that will provide anywhere from 21 to 28 days of fly control. So that's an option for uh, some uh, livestock producers who do not have access to, say, panels uh, or uh, a corral system where they can bring the cattle in to spray. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Maddie McIntosh. <music>